we have the place to ourselves. Scott won't be home till tonight. Scott Newick's wife popping into the room with the dead. Much better pick than not the lame. None of atmosphere for you? You forgive me for dissing Becca? Almost, if you promise to be good to her. Done. Hmm. All I want you to hold against me is you. <laughs> <sighs> you work it well, girl. Nothing but fun, just the way I like it. I know exactly what you like. Okay. Strings. Mm. Attached. This is nice and simple. No demands, no plans. Mm, but I have big plans for us. Oh, such as? Oh, a nice, long shower. Oh. And after that, a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> but that could get very complicated, because we have to have at least two toppings. Mm. And then there's the big commitment. You have to eat at least half. I don't know. That sounds kind of long term, but I think I can handle it. And what if Scott shows up? Scott who? Oh, cold. Mm. Practical. No sense in wallowing and what a should have cut us. The only thing on my mind is instant gratification. Mm. Whoever it is has very bad timing. Yes. Mm. You know, I should really get it. Uh, should... All right, I'm going to hide out just in case it's someone grand those. <laughs> You're a good time, but a oh. one-way ticket back to San Diego is not my oh. idea. Well, I just uh, came by to, to... about the mausoleum. Look, I'm I'm so sorry that you walked in on Greenlee and me doing. No, you know, no, 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 really... no, no. That's not that's not why I'm here. <laughs> Seriously, I've done things that were much worse than that, so no need to apologize. Except to the firm, maybe. <laughs> anyway, I just um, I just wanted to tell you the news myself. Bad news? No. Really wonderful news, but I wanted to. I wanted to tell you myself before we tell everybody else. We? Jake and I. He uh, asked me to marry him last night at the Crystal Ball, and I said yes. Wow. That's, um. That's great news. Um, uh, I, I mean, that's, that's ex excellent news. I'm, I'm, Jake's, uh, Jake's a good man. You're a good man. <sighs> Jake, we'll give you the life you deserve, Julian. He's a real stand-up guy. He'll keep you happy. He'll keep you safe. I see a long life. Kids, pets, family, picnics, the whole bit. Hey, maybe you could invite your bachelor pal to a few of those. Well, thanks. You know, it means a lot to me to have your blessing. I'm happy for you. So, details. I want to hear details. What kind of plans? Like, do you have a date yet? Yeah, we're not going to tell anybody that we're engaged until Valentine's Day. Well, that's very romantic. 
Jake wanted to wait until I'm fully recovered and Liza gets back from Europe with Colby. Mm, sounds like a plan. There's no rush. It gives you more time to plan the wedding, make everything perfect, everything a princess dreams of. Yeah. And I'm going to need all the time I can get. And, you know, especially since my other wedding didn't quite go as planned. Well, maybe you'll have better luck this time around. I was very lucky. You deserve the best of everything, Julian. And Jake, I'm sure, will be able to give you that. Thank you. And thank you for coming to tell me yourself about the engagement, classy as always. I couldn't imagine not telling you. I should go. Julian? Tell Jake I, uh, tell Jake I say congratulations. I just want you to understand that what you see, I mean, this is it. Here and now, I can't make any promises. All I want is for you to make roller coaster love to me and then have a nice, juicy pizza. Can you do that? Yeah. Good boy. 